he claims. What? what? Excuse Who is this disembodied voice? Sage versus Frozen. HO3K, Frozen versus not HO3K to kill Sage. In fact, he is almost a critical reaction. What'd you say, Devin? What what are you saying right now? Don't worry what, about what, it. What, what, what are you saying? Critical reaction to kill Sage. Taking on House of 3000 Frozen. Fox got, versus Corrin, man. Yeah, so this is an interesting matchup. Uh, heard, you know, heard that it's good for Fox most of the time, but not necessarily, you know, the worst matchup. I mean, he's going to be able to have that sword in order to just, like, have a disjointed hitbox that could easily clash into Fox. Fox has to get through that zone. I know the insta pin is definitely going to be a move that Frozen is going to be spamming against Sage in order to keep him at I a mean, distance pace, especially with all the short, empty short hops trying to bait it out. I like the movement from Frozen off stage right there. <laughs> the stalled down air. Okay, nice catch that down tilt. Try to get the follow up with the side special, but to kill Sage with an answer, air dodging out of harm's way. He goes trying to get the back air again, but every single time we're noticing Sage's air dodging. There could be a time when, you know, Frozen catches onto that, waits for the air dodge, and then punishes, but regardless. Up air is going to beat out the corner <clears throat> down air right there, and we get the first stock to Sage. Oh, a great back air right there. We're even. One stock apiece. No Just percent. Immediately takes it away from him, turning into a one stock set. There we go. Got the down air into the forward air combo special off stage. Edge pressure. He's out of jumps. Okay, managed to get back on there. Well, I don't know what my man is jabbing at. Jabbing the wrong way and accidentally doing the full rapid jab the wrong way. Uh, but not too hard of a punish. Back on stage. I like the empty land into roll, but Sage ready for it. Able to get some more damage here. You got the double up airs coming in strong. I like the short usage of short hop forward airs coming from Sage. He's just trying to like jump up to that platform without physically going up there, just kind of poking him from underneath the platform. Yeah. The Until movement! So Sage very, very close to getting this first game. Fade away Nair. Yeah. Get some shield pressure with that, but not going to do much. And we see the ledge trump. This, uh, why he oh. was wide open for a punish, but then got, got caught by the up special, the Draconic Ascent coming from Corrin. Yeah, Corrin's up here with a big disjoint uh, to both sides of her above her. Uh, so it'll hit you through the ledge if you're not careful. I think he was trying to get there and shield, uh, and like shield at ledge, but didn't quite get there in time. Okay, applying some more shield pressure, the neutral air to the up tilt to kill Sage, trying to find a way back down to the ground. Gets caught by Frozen, the grab, pushing him off stage in a very sticky situation. Firefox gets back Ooh. to the stage. Going for ledge trump pin right there, but Sage was able to jump out of that situation. He just runs up and gets the perfect grab, you know, the answer for a shield. Here he comes. Edge guard opportunity. I see it. And, uh, we've seen a lot of times tonight Frozen landing with those back airs on the way down to mix up where he's going. The stare down. <laughs> I, that was a good, I mean, I respect it from Sage. So, he, he was expecting Frozen to kick out sooner, but because yeah. he bet everything on that forward smash, he got sent to the other complete side of the stage and lost the game for it. Wow, so Let's watch that out. again. So on the pin, Corrin's hurt box extends onto that Lance, but he didn't reach the Lance. So he's just a little bit short, and then he ends up getting punished with a tipper. Great pin spacing right there by Frozen, and he takes game one after Sage had looked pretty good the first time, first part of the stock, but uh, unable to get that second kill. To kill Sage, taking Frozen back to Smashville. Made yeah, it. figuring the stage wasn't a problem. He, he was in control pretty solidly early on, and then Frozen really brought it back when Sage wasn't able to find a kill. Did you see him the sneak? The landing lag animation of Hello? Whatever, whatever aerial that was, I didn't even see. It's because he was like crouching when he landed. Yeah. Like he barely avoided that hitbox. I see you, Sage. Okay, he's hungry for these dash attacks, and Frozen's catching on. Shielding right through it. Try to get the side B combo follow-up out of those forward airs. Again, expecting the Fox illusion a little bit sooner. Trying to use the Dragon Lunge against it. Here we go. Big damage. Big damage. Putting him at 80%. He attempted to go for the Trump, but Frozen already buffered the roll back onto the stage. Here we go. They got the jab, jab. Trying to get the up smash. Noticed that he was too far away, so opted to end it with a dash attack instead. Sage moving all over the place. The short hop doesn't back air immediately, then double jump back air, trying to catch him dropping shield. It doesn't quite work. Oh, and a good down tilt to catch him right there. And the Nair. Oh, oh the wrong tech read. He was expecting him to go left, or right, I mean. And that'll punish the up on stage. Not going to kill yet, though. Frozen going for the optimal answer. They what was that, get hit. that collision with side, side specials? Some wild stuff. <laughs> up throw is going to kill, I think. Yep. So we get the kill throw from Corrin. Frozen one stock away from Loser's Finals. 
Ooh. Also, I'm not going to take it, though, with no rage. Okay, so you notice that Sage is playing a little more careful, you know, holding his shield more, and not committing to really high-stake moves. Just right there, he just needs a simple bread and butter. The dash attack into up air will easily net him a kill, and he didn't take any damage that stock as well. Yeah, we got a very close game right here. Last game was close, too. We had Sage with a little more of an edge. This one dead even right now. Corrin going to pancake out of the way as Frozen. Besides, he doesn't want to be on that side of the stage. Yeah, Fox just has so many answers in order to rack up damage, right? Like, he has dash attack, down air, grab. Like, it just leads, so much can lead into some combo damage. Or just better stage control in general. But now, as I said that, you know, you see him using a lot of dash attack. And again, gets easily beat out, trumped, if I would say, by shield. Down air into pin right there. Uh -oh. Is that going to kill? No, Not quite, but way. a lot of damage. Dragon Fang Shock is deceptively strong, dude. Yeah, and you got that weak Dragon Fang Shot into the full bite right there. You charge them separately, of course, so allows Corrin for really good kill setup. You can charge the, the first part as long as she wants, and then you have to full him back to the bite. Frozen has him off stage again, trying to get that up air, but Sage gets back to the stage. Well-timed air dodge from Sage right there, and a good tech in. I like that, Sage been reading the tech away a lot. Frozen didn't go for it there. Yeah, I'm curious if the forward throw from Sage instead of opting to go for the back throw for stage advantage. But I guess he just wanted to try to go for the tech read. Yeah, it does set up a tech chase at that kind of a percent. I, mean, you, I think you can jump out of it, but you, know, you do often see people go end up in a tech chase situation. That could be death, and it is. Take it. Sage out at fourth place as Frozen moving on to loser, loser finals. I was talking to Kill Sage at Super Smash Con this weekend. He was a little bit disappointed with his performance. And I know he was trying to come back to the Xeno today to try to like put on a grander show. Fourth place, he's probably not feeling too happy about it. You know he isn't. Uh, but you know, still a good 